Hey, Arthur. How you feel? Okay. Glad not to be in a cage. Thanks. Thanks for getting me out. Of course. Let's try to rest. something from me? You lose the scissors in your house? Grab a seat, let's get to work. So what'll it be today? Now that isn't half bad, huh? That's, uh, looks pretty good. We can do up all the latest trends. Hmm, I say you look ready for a portrait now. Mighty fine if I do say so.
Hello. Hello. Hey, bonjour. Hey, mister. Get lost on the way to the outhouse? Not good at all, I'm afraid. Just look in here. Make this country a real democracy. Stop disqualifying half the population. We are women, not monsters. We deserve the right to vote as much as you. I get all sorts walking into this establishment, but they all end up looking better when they walk out. You won't believe this. I know the strange robbery up on the granite path. No bastards find me here. Oh? Isn't it Maybe time I'm... to end this nonsense and let us vote? Once and for all. I take pride in my selection here. Everything here is of exceptional quality. These sets have been meticulously assembled to the smallest detail. So all you have to do is put them on. My, my, I really think it's perfect for you. Now that goes with just about any outfit. And that should be good. Such a long time. Time for a new gun, perhaps? Do you need any assistance? Let's have a look in here.
That's popular around here. Got what I need. I can see you look after your firearm. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I can see you look after your firearm. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I can see you look after your firearm. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I can see you look after your firearm. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I can see you look after your firearm. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I can see you look after your firearm. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. Mister, are you okay? Mister, are you okay? Are you okay, mister? <laughs> mister, you, you don't look so good. <coughs> Let's get you to a doctor. friend. Go on. Can I help you? Uh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. I need some help. And so it seems. 
And that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Now look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do you. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You... It's a progressive disease. And you'll be... Now, the best thing is rest. And getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Now, yeah, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guam? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? 
I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Well, we got Lenny's body out as well, bribed the morgue, and buried them together. Follow me. What's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him. He thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, and Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, well, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. <clears throat> Are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope uh, and hope for the best. Ah! You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> up, up, and away. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. One hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir! We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. Keep on going. You're doing splendidly. All right, then. Let's break through these clouds. Heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? 
Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state-of-the-art, sir. Imported from Europe. You won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. Okay, we're getting a little high now. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this. With a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? Whoa there. No need to go any higher. Please descend a little. There isn't enough wind at this height. Mother was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldassario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Maybe he's off the throttle there, sir. We need to be lower. There's not enough wind at this altitude. you hear me? Please reduce the altitude. That's it. Try to keep us around this height. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. Ah, that's better. Look, we can see for miles now. We're too high, sir. The air isn't moving. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? Uh, I didn't, exactly. Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. That ain't John. Please hurry. Is that him? Yep, that's him. Oh, my God! 
What are you doing? They're shooting at us. I can see that. Ascent! Ascent! Speed is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Here, God, I'm shaking like a leaf. All right, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good Lord, my heart is pounding. <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <laughs> ah, there's Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord, is that... is that Mrs. Adler? We're... Being chased! Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Hey, safe! Up here! <laughs> Shit, they're old Driscoll's. Mrs. Adler has a lot to answer for. Yes, she does. You showed him, Mr. Morgan! What was she This is with the old Trishmas right now. Followed us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. These goddamn old Briscoes. You can't leave it for one day. Just kill these sons of bitches.
I only left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Combe, the government. They got Combe O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're going to make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. <coughs> sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's going to swing. I'm going to make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> from a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. Mister? Whatever. Okay, now. Anyone, help! Don't do this. You damn, damn idiot! Sir. Very kind of you.
Let's go, boy. Where's this shot? Makes for an easier target. Out here.
Now, where's this shine? Moonshine. You're a wonderful man. Wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? Uh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. 
Uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money. <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? See, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? <laughs> excellent, excellent. Oh, this wonderful methanol. Karen, Maribeth. You okay, Maribeth? Hi, Karen. 